Hi, this is Tammy, and I'm here with another unboxing. Uh, today I got a box that I was just finishing up some Christmas presents in, um, so it's a little bit of a mix. I did try to wrap up um, trading pretty early. I only had my bag open, I think, for two or maybe three days because I wanted to make sure I got it in time for Christmas. And just to play it safe, I did pay the extra $3 for the expedited shipping, but I got it much quicker than I thought, so that was really nice. So let's just go in and see what I got. Okay, so first, um, I'm not going to take this out of the bag because I am going to gift this, but this was the Betsy Johnson muffler. They're calling it a muffler. It is a scarf. It's, um, this was the fuchsia, and you can see it's like a really nice, deep fuchsia with the blue bow. Um, I know the other colors got more love on this. I actually have it in the cream, and it's really nice. It's like a really luxurious, almost like blanket throw type of feel. It's very warm, a little bit heavy, um, but it's great and I love it. And this was a really nice color I thought for um, one of our members' daughters and she's going to absolutely love this. And um, I know it's really nice. I just don't want to take it out. If you are interested in seeing what it looks like out or on, I have a previous video in the video library on LBB that does show the cream one. So that's the Betsy Johnson muffler and I think it retailed for $52 or $54, it was something in that range. Um, okay, next I got a Betsy Johnson wrap. This was um, the white one. And you know, I had never actually wanted a wrap. I didn't think I would ever use one or wear one. And then the other day I went to a holiday party um, and it was snowing, I am in New York, and I had on a um, sleeveless dress and realized, wow, I could have really used a wrap. So when someone offered this to me on a trade, I decided to take it. Um, let's see. It looks almost like a florally print or like, it's not a leopard print. I guess it's like a florally print. It's kind of clear, sheer. Um, it is white. It has the, uh, the sequin detail on it. Um, the sequins aren't they're not coated, so, you know, they I guess they snag a little bit, but they don't really snag. Like, I'm pulling at it right now, and I'm not even getting stuck on it, so that's that's nice. Um, it's not soft by any means, so, so you know, it's kind of gritty. But it is really pretty, actually. Uh, I am not a fancy person, so I'm not entirely sure how you even wear... Oh, there we go. Not like that, obviously. How you even wear this. But I did... I'll go back and look at the picture on LBB, but it is a nice... Um, a nice sized wrap and you know I am uh, full figured and it does fit really well I know my husband's looking at it really weird but when it's draped over remember John when I had that um, sleeveless dress and I had nothing nice to wear to the party so it kind of you know drapes over nice That's cool. you can it's set <laughs> that it yes it is multi-purpose so it is you really pretty it, like it has a nice length I would not use it as a pillow thank you it has sequins. It wouldn't be comfortable as a pillow. But it is really nice. I don't remember what it retailed for. Um, I can't even find the receipt in the bag, but hold on. I don't even think it tells you on the receipt. No, it doesn't. But I think it was also in like the late high 40s to 50-ish range. But I think it's really nice. And it's sheer. Um... I was a little concerned at first that it would look kind of old lady-ish, but it doesn't, so I'm happy with that. It's good to have for when you go out, just in case. One of those things that's just good to have in the closet, never know. The next thing I got was the Amrita Singh jewelry roll, and I've been wanting this for a while. I'm starting to get a lot of jewelry from Little Back Bag. I've never really been big on jewelry, but uh, Chamox especially, really. I mean, if you saw my last video, I got a ton of Chamox which obviously don't really go in the jewelry roll, but it, they're good if you carry a couple of them in there. Um, oh, it's actually much smaller than I thought it would be. For some reason, it looked almost like a large clutch size on the website, but I think it's really pretty, and I don't think a lot of people showed too much love for the red and black. They were pretty easy to get. They're still floating around the site. I know a lot of people really liked the... Uh, there was a golden green or a blue one that were very pretty also but I just thought this was really nice and subtle, more subtle 
it has the cream colored wraparounds. Uh, it does have the, you know, the red and black kind of florally pattern. It has the Amrita Singh. Wow, I'm totally backwards. I will never get used to this. The Amrita Singh tag right there. And I think it's really nice. It feels nice. Let's open it up. There we go. And it unrolls like so. And this is where you would put your rings, I'm assuming. And then it has the one pouch there, which is a decent enough drop on it. I don't wear earrings, but I would imagine you could put earrings and things in there. There's another zip pocket there, and it goes in to this pocket, which goes the full length of it, which is really nice, which I could definitely carry my bracelets in that. Then this part right here opens up, and it goes the entire length of the jewelry roll, which is really, really nice. So you can carry a lot of things in this. It's great for travel, and I just think it's such a pretty piece. So I'm actually really happy with this. I think it's adorable. Maybe I'll pick up another couple of jewelry rolls for gifts because they're really nice little pieces to have. And these, I think, um, retailed for about $50. So that was nice. I was happy to get that in a trade. And it wasn't an arm and a leg trade by any means either. So that was great. Okay. The Raj... Uh, crochet, I think it was flower scarf. I actually opened with this scarf because I knew a lot of people were going to want it and I wanted to make sure that I'd be able to get it. And um, I know they're still on the site now and I think you could even still buy them. But, oh, this feels so nice. I got crazy great offers on it. A lot of people kept trying to get me to trade it, but I really wanted to take this piece home with me. It's a really nice teal... I guess you'd call that teal, like a teal bluish green. I think it's gorgeous. It's not It's not an infinity at all. See, it goes, um, it actually has a really nice shape. I love it has the, the crochet flower detail on it. It's a very, very soft yarn. It feels really, really nice. I'm so happy with this. I'm better with infinity scarves because they're so easy to put on. Regular scarves I always have to play around with for a while, but um, for now I'll just kind of go like that, I guess. And then I can always play with it, but let's see. It's a really nice length. It's not bulky at all, but it is warm. So it's actually one of those cold weather scarves, which they don't tend to have a lot of on LPB. And then you see it has, um, I guess, kind of a layered side how it comes tapered down at the ends really pretty has that really nice the really nice floral detail on it this is beautiful i'm going to you know wrap it around better obviously when i wear it on my regular basis but i think it's a really pretty scarf and especially if you know you're going out uh, you know, not like the traditional heavy throw it on me scarf, which I've been using the Bessie scarf for a lot, the muffler, because it's been so cold lately. But that's a really nice piece. I really like it. This is another scarf that I don't want to take out of the package because I am gifting it, but it was the Raj embellished scarf, I think it's called, Moroccan stud scarf. So you see it's the gray scarf with the... Um, I guess they're kind of bronzish studs on them. I've seen people back in the day do these in videos. Uh, I think I'll open it a little bit to see. But I, these have been around for a really, really long time. And I actually, it's really not my style, but I picked it up because I thought my sister-in-law would really like it. It actually feels nice. It looked very rough, the fabric, on the site. And you can see, it, you know... It has the um, little boxy stitching that, for some reason, I thought it was going to be rough, but it's not. It's not super soft by any means, but it's not scratchy at all, which I thought it would be. It has the fringe ends right there. Yeah, I don't want to put it on because I don't want to mess it up, but it does have that nice embellishment around it, the Moroccan studs. So I think she's really going to like that. And I think this one retails for maybe like $48 or something like that. So this is a nice piece. Does it have the price on it? Mm, I don't see the price, but yeah, I think it was around $48 or something like that. So that's a nice item. Then 
another gift, so I don't want to open it, but um, I got the Betsy Johnson Sparkle Skulls Clutch, and this one was a little harder to get. These were retailing for, I think, $58. Yeah, $58. And I wanted to get this for my other sister-in-law, who's really into skulls and things like that. They, you know, they got married at like the Coney Island Freak Show and she was a burlesque dancer and this was right up her alley. So I wanted to make sure that I got this for her. So it was a little harder to get, but I was able eventually to trade for it. And I only traded, I think like $5 over retail for it, which was fine by me, but it's actually really nice. I don't like skulls personally. I think they're a little bit creepy. I'm more about, um rainbows and happiness and bright colors but this is actually kind of cute the skulls are sparkly which is nice and they have the uh the heart eyes which is really cute and I didn't even notice this on the site because honestly I didn't look that closely I just knew that she would like it but the studs ac the stud accents on it are little golden skulls with bows in there well on their skulls with would, would, where their hair would be there's bows um and I just think it's really, really, really cute. And I love that it comes in this box. Uh, I guess I would take it out of plastic. Maybe I'll get it with the plastic on. So I'll just take the plastic wrap off. And I'm really sorry that I'm not taking these out. I did want to show what I received, but I really don't want to make a mess of things because they are gifts, especially this where the box is taped. But I did see people recently unboxing these, so you could take a look through the videos, obviously, and see what they look like. <coughs> <coughs> excuse me this is a really nice size I think for a clutch um it's not a clutch I'm sorry I think they called it a wristlet yes boxed wristlet so it has the little um wristlet piece on the end you know the black le well pleather I guess they don't Betsy doesn't do leather but uh yeah so it has the zip top here I don't remember if there was an extra pocket inside I did watch a video on it but I think it's a great size. It comes in this really cute box with the flower design, the Betsy's, um, which is great for gifting. So I'm really happy with this. And I think Kyoko's really, really going to like this. What else did I get? Oh, <laughs> I forgot that I got these. Okay. I have an obsession with earmuffs. My ears are always freezing. And um, I lose earmuffs left and right. I... I don't know what I do with them. They disappear. I've actually held on to the same pair for like two months now, and I'm shocked. But I, someone had offered me these earmuffs on a trade, and I figured, you know what? They're cute. They're fuzzy. Um, let me have a spare just in case. They're actually really, really soft. They feel really nice. I'm not condoning wearing fur by any means, but this looks just like my chinchilla Aurelius. I wish I could bring them up and show you. Um... It's the same type of texture, except, you know, he's, of course, much softer because he's a chinchilla, but he's albino, but as he's getting older, he's getting kind of gray hairs in his fur, so he looks kind of just like this, so I feel like I'm going to be wearing Oreo on my ears. Now, they call these four-way earmuffs. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure what that means. I didn't know there was more than one way to wear a pair of earmuffs, so I'm going to look right here on the tag. Uh, it shows you, I guess, the first one here. The first one here would be under your head, I guess. So, oh, and they do expand. So I guess you could wear them as so, as such. Uh, I guess that's number two. Number one looks similar to number two. I don't know. Whatever. Here. These are the ways that they're showing. They show how they're foldable. They show how they're adjustable. I wear them like normal earmuffs. And they're actually really cute, I think. They're fuzzy. They're warm. Um, I'm not crazy about it having fur on the inside because it does tickle my ears a little bit. Makes them kind of itchy. But I think they're really cute. So that's nice. And those retail, I think, for $32. Um which I would never pay for a pair of earmuffs, but in a trade, you know, you know how it goes. LBB money is not like real money. Although that's why my credit bills are so high, because I always say that. It's not like real money. Okay, 